Today, I went to the liquidation bins for my first time since I've been here in Chicago. And for those of you who don't know what a liquidation bins is, think of a giant store filled with a bunch of bins that have all kinds of inventory. These can be shelf pools or return items or brand new products from places like Amazon, Walmart, or Target. And the best part is every single item in the store is a flat price. So for this particular store, everything there was $7. Now these stores can be pretty hit or miss. In the past, I found items worth hundreds of dollars and I've made thousands in one day. And at others, I have walked out with nothing. So I was excited to see what the Chicago bins had in store for me. Let me show you what I got. Ooh, there's a lot of people out here today. So as you can see here, the first few minutes of these stores is always pretty frantic. People are just rifling through everything on the tables trying to find those high dollar scores. This specific store actually has a Facebook page where they advertise some of the higher end items that are going to be hidden in the bins those days. So people were out hunting for those items that were advertised. They had things on there like Xboxes, iPads, AirPods, all kinds of really high end stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't end up finding any of the advertised stuff, but I still did find a few good things later on. And actually, as you can see here, the first two things that I grabbed and put in my cart were these rather large unmarked boxes that seems like they had been opened up and resealed once before. And the reason I grabbed these is because sometimes these stores can go and hide some of the higher dollar items in unmarked boxes because you have to take the unmarked boxes that you find to a little table on the side of the store, have the employees open it up and show you what's inside. So there was a chance that some of these higher end items were hiding in the boxes I grabbed. But again, I didn't end up finding anything in them. However, I still did end up finding a few smaller items in the same bin that I grabbed those two larger boxes from. You can see right there, I just grabbed a Versa webcam. This is a little webcam right here, just like kind of a generic one, but it still looks like it's going for around 35 bucks over on eBay. And actually in that same bin, I found two packs of brand new Canon ink. You can see this first one right here is the Maxify 1200, and then the other pack back here is the 210-211 combo pack. And then before I decided to jump over to the next bin, I also noticed that there were a few textbooks in this bin, so I decided to grab those and scan them on my Amazon app really fast and I ended up picking up three different textbooks. I ended up getting two separate sets of these Bible study books and one emergency ECGs book. Again, I'll sell all of those books over on Amazon. And then after digging through a few more bins, at least the parts of the bins that I could reach, everybody was kind of packed in there, so I didn't have access to the full bins, but I ended up coming across what would turn out to be my best find of the store. And there it is right there, the best item of the haul. What this is, is a Swamp Fox Sentinel 1 16th green dot sight. Now I'm not familiar with the brand, but I figured it was probably gonna be worth picking up because I know dot sights are not cheap. And when I looked it up, I was pleasantly surprised to see that this little box is worth over $200, $200 for this little guy that a bunch of people had probably already picked up, looked at and walked right past. And obviously when I looked up the comps at the store and I saw that I was really happy. So I was already in a good mood and knew that this store had been worth my time to go to but little did I know I was about to pull another really good item right here this is a Le Mer body cream now this is a brand that I'm not super familiar with and to be honest with you the only reason that I picked it up is because I thought I remembered my girlfriend mentioning it once saying it was a higher-end brand to look for and I was pleasantly surprised to find out it is a higher-end brand I looked it up on eBay and this thing is going for a decent amount of money and after looking that up and seeing the comps, I figured I should probably take my time and scan a few more of these cosmetic products that are in here because if there is one high-end one, there's probably going to be a few other ones in here as well. And I was not disappointed to see a few of the other brands that I ended up picking up. I found this Shishido Bio Performance Cream and I did open it up to make sure it was still sealed in there. Next were these Nutrafol Enhancement Patches, these Vegemore Grow Gummies, which I made sure to check the expiration date on. You want to make sure you're checking the expiration date on pretty much any consumable that you're buying because a lot of the stuff that ends up at these stores is expired. This is good for like five more months though. And then there was this, the best one out of all of the beauty products and the second best product that I found today. This is Estee Lauder Regenerative Youth Cream. And I was blown away to see that this little 1.7 ounce bottle of cream goes for over 150 bucks. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's insane. 
And by the time I got done looking up the beauty products and scanning a bunch of stuff, I'd been in the store about a half hour to 45 minutes at this point and decided to take a look at these clothing racks that they had on the side of the store where I ended up finding this really cool Happy Gilmore Boston hockey jersey. It's a pretty cool piece, it's not brand name or anything, it's off brands, but I figured it was worth a shot taking a look at it. It turns out that they're worth about 30 bucks. There were a few more of them there, but I only ended up grabbing one. I honestly probably should have grabbed more based on the comps, but hey, at least I got one of them. And after finishing up in the clothing racks, I did decide to do one more lap around the store where I found a few more smaller items like this little Waze camera right here, some brand new Brondell replacement water filters, and this intelligent smart door lock. And right as I thought I was done with the store, I was getting ready to check out. It turns out that they do a restocking of one of the rows at the top of every hour. So they replaced an entire row of inventory with brand new fresh stuff. So obviously I had to stay and see if I could get my hands on something. <laughs> that table moves and it's yeah, all it on. <laughs> it's like it doesn't, there's no backing up, no undoing. Uh... Sorry. However, as you may have figured, everybody in the store has the same idea and everybody at the store was at this one row of bins. So it was super tight in there. Everybody was fighting for inventory. And while I did end up grabbing a few things to look up, I didn't end up buying anything. So I just ended up checking out with the stuff I got before the restock. And that is how my first overstock liquidation store experience went here in Chicago. Overall, at $7 a piece, I think I did pretty well. And even though sourcing like this at these bin stores is more aggressive than the type of sourcing that I like to do, I do think I'll be back in the future. And I noticed there were like six or seven of these different stores in Chicago, all by different companies. So it could be kind of fun to compare the different stores. If you want to see me compare a different store to this one, be sure to go down low and smash that like button for me. If we hit a thousand likes on this video, I'll go to another store and see what the differences are. Also, if you've ever been to a store like this, let me know down the comments. Did you like the stores? Did you find some good stuff or was everything junk? I know I have had stores on both opposite ends of that spectrum. When I was down in Charlotte, I was finding all kinds of great stuff down there. However, when I went to some other ones, I've walked out of the stores with nothing. So let me know your experiences down below. Also, before I go, I want to let you guys know that my Everest Base Camp vlog series over on Ready Set World is coming to a close soon. I just posted the video of me hitting Base Camp. It should be up right now when this video is out. And also, I just started posting over on TikTok. So if you want to see more reselling content and see some of my sales, I just started posting over there. It's Ready, Set, Resell on TikTok. Otherwise, that's going to wrap things up for now. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.